Hey, how's it going? This is Deontay Burton, Coastal Changing Lives. I want to welcome you back to our Business 101 series, where we give information to aspiring entrepreneurs or people that are currently in business. Well, they may not be that familiar with certain different business or financial ratios. Today, we're talking about a super important subject, and that being price. Okay, well, why is price so important? Because, you know, just for example, I have new clients come to me all the time, and, you know, one of the first things I ask them is, what are you selling your products for? And they give me the number, then I ask them why. And they'll tell me maybe uh, the actual company or the bigger company in the market, they sell their product for a certain point, so they want to be a little bit lower. Or they feel like they may be a high-end uh, uh, deliverer of a certain product or item, and they want to charge a premium. So, but there is no kind of quantitative or analytical work that went into deriving at the price, because price is very important because we want to make sure we're selling our products at a number that we can cover our costs to keep in operation and, most importantly, make a profit. What we're going to do it right now is look at the different definitions of price that you can come derive at uh, to get a selling price. The first one we're going to look at is selling price equals cost plus markup. What do we mean by cost plus markup? When we look at cost, we're talking about the actual dollar amount it takes to make a particular product or item plus the markup, the markup being the dollar amount that we're going to add to it. So let's use an example. Say we're talking about making bikes. If it costs us $10 to make a bike, so we're talking about $10 being the frame, the tires, the seats, the handlebars, that's what it costs. And our markup is going to be 10 bucks to add to it. So we're going to sell the bikes for $20. So when we look at it in terms of from a markup standpoint, we just added 10 bucks to it, to that cost, give us $20. The next example we're looking at it when we do a, a percentage increase or decrease on the selling price. So if we're looking at our previous example where we were selling them for $20, we're just going to say that we're going to increase by 5% or decrease by 5% off that $20 to get our new price. Examples where you may use that at is where you, know, you may have uh, an increase in a cost. An example may be Unemployment had, uh, went up maybe 1% or 2%. And you want to just bring your prices up in relation to it. Uh, not unemployment, I'm talking about the uh, 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 minimum wage, rather. I apologize. The minimum wage, rather, has increased. And you just want to kind of bring up your selling price in relation to it. And so if, it's, if the minimum wage went up 1% or 2%, you say, hey, look, let me bring my selling price up 1% or 2% in relation to it. And that's why we did it. Uh, example where you may do... Uh, uh, a price decrease, say if a local factory or a meal is one of your major uh, main customers of, uh, of your product, say if you work in a restaurant or something like that, and they laid a lot of people off, you may do a percentage decrease on some of your prices to kind of, you know, help in relation to people having lower wages, lower income coming in. So those are two examples in terms of, you know, a price increase or, or decrease. The other example is when you come in the price, you can look at a percentage increase or decrease off the cost, the amount that it takes you to make one unit. Same situation where you may have different reasons why you derived that, reason why you might increase it in relation to the cost. Say you got a new vendor in, looking at an example for the bicycles, um, the seats, um, the price of the seats may increase. Tires may have uh, new vendors, and they just went up, you know, a certain percentage, and you may increase the price in relation to uh, that uptick in cost. So that's what, those are the three ways we look at in terms of deriving your price. The form where we look at cost plus market, plus markup rather, or price times a percentage increase or decrease, or cost times percentage increase or decrease. Regardless of which one, I can't say which one is, is better or worse, you, these are things you need to look at in, returns to, uh, in terms of getting your, your selling price. This is so, so important because, uh, because again, as I stated earlier, if you don't have the correct amount for your selling price and you can't cover your costs, we won't break even or we won't even, most importantly, have any kind of profit. To get more information uh, just like this, I want you guys, you know, uh, well, again, I hope this helped you, but to get more information uh, and go in depth about it, make sure you uh, reach out to us at Majestic Business Services. That's my business service firm. You can reach us on the web at www.majesticbiz.com. Again, that's www.majesticbiz.com. Uh, we do front end, during, or back end analysis all the time with our uh, consultants giving out information like this. 
You can book an appointment. We can do an appointment in person. We can do it over the phone or we can do it virtually. Whichever way is comfortable for you. But make sure you go to the website and book an appointment if you want to get more in-depth information with this. And also, the very important, keep tuning in to Change Your Lives, hosted by yours truly, Deontay Burton. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell, share all the information, leave comments. And uh, as, we, as we continue to put good information out just like this, I look forward to hearing from you guys. Take care.